Hello from Ho Chi Minh. We landed a couple of hours ago. We've just checked into our hotel room. I will insert the tour here. We've just got to our room. Look at this. It's so nice. It's very um, girly. It's a very European feel hotel already. But it's quite compact and it's nice. Oh, they give you a little beach bag too, just like the other hotel we stayed at. I haven't even taken my bags off my shoulders yet. And then, oh, the bed looks quite small. It's like a little double. Oh, I hate a double bed. Why? Should be king size only. The bathroom looks nice though. It's very nice and clean. I think this hotel has quite possibly recently been renovated. They all give you bottles of water um, in the bathroom, I think, to brush your teeth. Um, this is like a Japanese toilet that has a heated seat and stuff. Ooh. They kind of creep me out, to be honest. Um, and you can sit in the... We had this in the Philippines. You can sit to shower. Wow. Wow. We've just got ready and, well, we didn't actually get changed. We just freshened up a little bit and we're heading straight out for dinner because it is about 8 p.m. We're hungry. Kind of a bit bored of Vietnamese food, so we're going to an Indian restaurant, which is about two minutes. This is the hotel lobby, it's very fancy. Sorry, I got interrupted because the lift doors opened and everyone was watching me vlog and then laughing at me. And then <coughs> the bellman, what's he called? The porter was trying to ask me about my camera and stuff. But anyway, I was saying, we fancy a change from Vietnamese food and I found, well, Jas found an Indian restaurant on Happy Cow which is not very far from here. I think I'm losing my voice. Still not better. I've been saying this since we landed in Hanoi. All throughout my videos, I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel fine. It's just that my throat, my head, I do have a bit of a headache today, but we're going out for dinner. So right now, Ho Chi Minh seems really calm, but I know that it's not like that from our 35 minute journey here from the airport. So we're at this place called Tandoor. Ho Chi Minh is definitely not as affordable as Hanoi, I have to say. This is more like UK prices. Um, they do have a section called Che, so that is vegetarian, but I can't seem to find it right now. Here we go. I know Che means vegetarian. So these are the curries. Um, okay, so we've got garlic naan. And I've got a vegetable gel frazy and just got a chicken gel frazy. I think my mouth is on fire. That was too spicy. Couldn't really eat it. <laughs> I have to walk really slowly here in Ho Chi Minh because um, the, all the pavement slabs are completely cracked. It's really uneven. It's actually quite dangerous. Um, and people don't really let you cross. But, um, this is a very different vibe to Hanoi and I'm not really enjoying it. It's a bit more of a European feel, not as much culture. People aren't very friendly. It's a bit like when you go to the north of England, everyone's friendly. You then you go to London and it's not as good, you know? I kind of feel like I'm in Japan because, well, this is a Japanese patisserie but who remembers the custard doriyaki from um, Yo Sushi? I used to love that. Let me show you some of their desserts. That's so cute. Naughty ghosts. <laughs> oh, these are really cute. Little bunnies. Good morning from Ho Chi Minh. Fresh juice is on the street. somewhere okay not we just we just found somewhere that does oat milk this is the mm. first time on this whole trip I've had oat milk um so excited look at this I'm so excited I just got a salted coffee because I inquired about it but they can't make it vegan because of the cream um, and I just got a regular black coffee with oat milk which I'm really really excited about. First time you've seen oat milk. Go on Jess, try it. This one's got um, condensed milk. Oh is that what it is? That's why it's a bit fluffy and then whatever it is. You can only destroy it first, can't you? Yeah. Go on Jess. Whoa that's nice. 
Is it? Yeah, it's nice, yeah. You taste the salt? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, it's like strong, strong coffee. I know, coffee's like really good here. Yeah. So I have um, avocado toast with some baked beans. I didn't really want the baked beans, but it just comes with the dish because I didn't get egg. And Jas has got um, a Viennese, what was it called? Croissant with bacon and egg. This is a massive portion, by the way. That breakfast was actually surprisingly very nice. It was a little bit cold, but I don't normally go for baked beans um, outside of the UK because I could just get that at home. Really, really nice though. Um, I would have to say Ho Chi Minh is definitely a bit more scammy than Hanoi. Hanoi wasn't really like that at all. There were no people sort of begging or trying to scam you in any way. Not that we experienced. But just now, we're sat outside the cafe just finishing off our coffees and Jas was taking a photo of me and this man with a little wooden box came running up to him and he's like, oh, your shoe's broken. And he was trying to like put some glue on Jas's shoe. And I was like, no, 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 no. And then Jas was like, oh, like, where's it broken? And he was like, I'll just glue it, don't worry. And I was like, no, 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 like a million times. And then he was like, okay, fine. And there's loads of them I can see walking around. So I guess the scam is they'll like fix your shoe yeah, and then good. they'll try and charge you like 50 quid or whatever it is for it, which is ridiculous. Probably that. There's a lot of people begging here as yeah, well. Yeah, um, so beggars and all of it. Yeah, first time I've seen uh, any beggars uh, in Vietnam, this was here in Ho Chi Minh. But also, whilst we were walking last night, some guys got this like, and I thought, what's he doing? Is it cocaine? Cocaine? Oh, shit. Really? Yeah, that's not yesterday, yeah. I you probably didn't see that. That's because they're walking by, obviously. Discreetly, obviously, doing it, and uh, yeah, at first he like making a hand gesture with his nose. I, I knew he's kind of doing that, but I said, What are you on about? Is it okay? <laughs> Okay, I did yeah. not know that. That's really weird. Right, we've just popped into Uniqlo, this viral bag that basically every other person in Vietnam and in London apparently has is £10. A lot cheaper than the £15 I paid for this, but I have to say this is the perfect travelling bag because there's a lot of pickpocketing that goes on and um, yeah, this is why everyone has one. I'm just really curious to see how much it would cost in Asia and it is cheaper but not cheap enough for me to buy any more colours than I already own. So many pickpocketers here that everyone just likes to carry stuff on their front where it's the safest and it's easy access for my phone and for my camera which is why I also love it. But they think they've got a few more colours here than they do in the UK. We've been walking for what seems like ages and I have no idea what this building is. We're actually on our way to the Ben Tan market but um, I'm not quite sure how to cross here. I think we just walk. This also does not feel like you're in Vietnam at all. Like they've got um, Bulgari, Louis Vuitton, like Burberry. Oh my God, where's the cars coming from? Thank you. Brilliant, thank you. Yeah. <coughs> oh, that's really cool. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Wow, what an experience. This was hot, sweaty, sticky, and it's not much different outside to be honest. It is hot as hell out here. Like it's really overcast, it's not sunny, it's bright, but it's so so humid, it's insane compared to everywhere else we've been so far. Just come to this place um, as we're walking past and we're booking our tour for tomorrow, the Mekong Delta. Yeah, we're just booking Luxury. it through. Luxury Mekong Kong Bay tour by, uh, by van. And uh, you, one vegan? One vegan, yes, yes please. So for the Mekong Delta tour, we had three different options. We didn't want to do the VIP because that's quite pricey. Um, and the mini bus, which is the most affordable, has too many pickups and drop offs because there's too many people. So we went for the mid range one, which is the luxury van, so there's maximum 12 people on the van, um, which would be quite nice. 
We were double minded about whether to buy tickets or get your guide or locally, but some people say it's cheaper locally. In actual fact, it worked out to be the same price. It's just that you know exactly what kind of company you're going with and what you're getting when you book it in person because there were different options for like a luxury or like a very basic tour and we don't want anything too basic because the bigger the bus the more people that they pick up from their hotels who are just sat on the bus waiting for this and if it's too luxury it's too expensive and no one really cares definitely lunchtime Right, we're just in Saigon Square, which I thought was a big square outside, but it turns out it's a very nicely air-conditioned big place full of market stalls. Very different vibe though, because no one hassles you here and no one haggles either. Um, it's actually a much more pleasant experience. That was another long sweaty walk. Vegan places are always very hidden. Um, this one looks so pretty. Oh my god. We just found it on Google really want a coffee basically. Ah, oh, they do buncha. I love buncha. Oh look, sewer hat means nut milk. Oh. Just come in to Bond's Vegan. It's such a shame because I really wanted a bun me but they haven't got any left. So I've just ordered a cashew milk coffee with dates but she told me it's not too so hopefully that's true. Um, and we might get one of these to share doesn't quite look like a gourmet cuisine but interesting. Wait, I thought it said creamy mushroom filling. That's like tomatoes, carrots, green beans. No mushroom. I don't think so. Wow. It's fair. Thank you. Thank you. So the sandwich definitely wasn't mushrooms and it was very piddly and not very filling so I've just gone and ordered fur waiting on some utensils hopefully this is better that was a weird place um, we checked that they take card payment before we ordered she said yes turns out they don't luckily we had just enough money but like things aren't really as they're advertised on the menu we ordered a creamy mushroom pitta so to me that would mean the majority of the filling is mushroom right with whatever the creamy sauce is this was like carrots green beans every vegetable under the sun and about two percent of it was mushroom but it was also just basically bread it wasn't very nice so then we ordered some fur the fur was good it's really filling um but it was freezing inside so i actually wanted um, a hot meal I've noticed everywhere in vietnam people come and collect their orders from like these delivery type people um when they work in offices and they'll all run out pay for their lunches and then go back into work it's really quite interesting. It's like, it's like she's just bought ice cream for the whole office. <laughs> just turned up for afternoon tea. Hello, good afternoon. Do you enjoy the afternoon tea? Yes, yeah. please. Yeah, it's yeah, going to be 9 one Thank you. Oh, wow. Yes, please. Thank you. So they have coffee, they've got water. They're bringing me soy milk, actually. They've got fried sweet potatoes, fried vegetables steamed sweet potato dumplings sandwiches there's loads oh my god i literally just want a coffee oh i've got a peach danish dress yeah. right we've had afternoon tea and we're heading straight to the pool look the hotel give you a little beach bag to use or pool bag or whatever it's cute, it's tiny, it's cute. Let's go. So this hotel, you get the lift to the 12th floor and there's another lift, apparently, that, oh, here, that goes up to the rooftop to the 14th floor. very pretty but it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be but obviously these things always are just as I come out the pool they put the lights on and it's actually really nice in here but it is absolutely freezing because this is the sky it's really cloudy there's no sun and it actually just feels really cold up here especially when you're not wearing clothes but I'm now gonna go and chill on a hammock and maybe read a book it's quite nice we're on our way to I'm a restaurant. <laughs> not now. No, I have a YouTube channel, but not an influencer. So the weird people who follow us all around. <laughs> <laughs> I 
these two guys we met at a restaurant in not Hoi An, Hanoi and we've yeah. just seen them coming down the stairs for this restaurant that we're about to go to which is so crazy <laughs> yeah exactly you know what you in so we're about to have dinner here how wild is that we're walking up the staircase we decided not to take the lift and these two people walking down looked at us and were like no way we were like oh my god we know you they're a couple from germany i don't know if they're a couple but they we met them at a vegan restaurant in Hanoi and we've just seen them again leaving a veggie restaurant. It's insane how you meet the same people all the time. It's really funny. The food here is really good. Yeah, I think this is it, Jess. So I love it. Yeah. Go on. The place is so cool, like you press a button to call for service, took us quite a long time to realise that. I've actually got a fresh coconut as my drink and I wanted, to, I wanted to try the vegan egg but I know I wouldn't like it because I bet that's coconut and um, they don't have it in stock anyway so we've gone for the vegan fish and um, white rice to share and I've gone for the vegan pork chop. They basically want all the mock meat because I've had a lot of tofu recently and I want a little bit of variety. We have vegan fish. Well, by the way. This is the vegan pork. This is the vegan fish. And we've got rice. Oh my god. First of all, that food was really good, but it was far too sweet and I knew it had sugar in it because my teeth really hurt. And that only happens when I eat stuff that's like far too sweet. Really good food and we ended up ordering three mains in the end because the rice was actually undercooked. I wasn't going to touch that. You get food poisoning really easily from rice. We got two lots of vegan fish and one lot of vegan pork. It came to like six pounds, what? Six pound ninety something. And guess what? You ordered a coconut, fresh coconut. Yeah. Yep. And Jas got two herbs and two. Yeah. For like just under seven quid, which is the whole lot. insane. It's definitely the best meal that we've had here, and it was so good. Good morning. We've just come down for breakfast. Boy, am I happy to see this. It's very. Uh, oh. Oh, they've got a whole load of stir-fried pumpkin with garlic butter. Noodles. Fried rice. This is really cool. They do sweet sticky rice, plain congee, beef congee, pumpkin yeah. soup, Japanese rice. <laughs> it's so cute the way it's all laid out. And um I think I forgot to vlog so I asked for an iced coffee uh, with soy milk. You know me, I love a continental breakfast. I did try congee, which I was really excited about, and I forgot to film it, but um, I don't know if I put the right toppings on. I also tried century egg for the first time, and it's not really for me. But yeah, here we go. Good morning, it's very early, and um, we've just been picked up by our van. We're going to pick up a few more people. As you can see, the van is empty, and then we're heading to the Mekong Delta, which is very exciting. We've got about an hour and a half to two hours to kill before we arrive, so I might try and have a little snooze. Because the Mekong um, is a big, uh, long current, come from uh, Tibet Mountain in China, go to uh, Myanmar, Laos, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. Mm. And when the Mekong run to Cambodia, it divides into two branches. And the two branches come to Vietnam, the first branch divides into six gates, the second branch divides into three gates. We have totally nine gates to the ocean and uh, we say nine dragon. Six strength, that is one dragon. We made a pit stop to some services, but we get given one of these lanyards. Um, I think it's a coconut factory, I'm not really sure. Cacao. Hello. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Oh, thank you. It's quite cool, isn't it? This is bamboo fiber, made from the bamboo tree, and this is cotton fiber. You can serve and peel. Oh yeah. Whoa, yeah, soft. Oh yeah. Bamboo surf line and cotton, and this is the cotton floated. Bamboo fiber of the water. Three, two, four, then cotton fiber. The bamboo fiber. This is what the ferret. This is your soya sauce. Cookie knife and first lint in the cotton, no lint and no oxo. This is bamboo fiber, more bamboo, more oxo. 
a truly weird um, demonstration. It felt like you were live on QVC. Now you're made to walk through a shop in a zigzag way and encouraged to purchase stuff, but yeah, it's not that cheap. Over how funny this place is. Every corner you turn, there's like a sales person there trying to convince you to buy like underwear, which apparently you can wear for seven days straight without washing, which I would not recommend. No, thank you. Um, but we're on our way to Mekong Delta. <laughs> this was just a really random stop, and I can't stop laughing. We're about to board a boat. That is really good. Yeah. And so um, on. Oh, yeah. yeah, so um, so? I have projects so? on. Thank God we bought insect repellent. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. When I smell Whoa. my um, pink uh, chicken. <laughs> no, really? Yeah, yeah chicken lemongrass. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is this it? Is this the lemongrass? Lemongrass. Oh. This one. Is that durian? That must be durian, isn't it? Or well, jackfruit. Look at it. Must be out of there. Jackfruit. Jackfruit, yeah, not durian. Not entirely sure where we're going, but um, these houses are literally in the middle of nowhere. I'm from Denpasar in Bali. Oh, Denpasar, yeah. Oh, we went to Denpasar, yeah. We... yeah. Oh, it was terrible. Oh my god. On the other side as well. Oh my god, he's holding all the bees. Wow. It's mine. Relax, it's mine. Royal jelly is a really good thing for motorized. Royal, royal jelly. Royal jelly. Royal jelly. So the the walker bee, the this walker cow, and they grind it in this machine to turn it into chocolate. The value uh, is the the value is the nut. The nut this time is very bitter. Cannot eat the nut this time. Oh, thank After you. After they ferment, we can eat. For here, Mike, they among the cashew. The coffee, coconut, or nip, or pepper, or cinnamon. Oh, uh, so that one ginger. The skin, you see the skin? Yeah. Off? yeah. That means it's, it's angry. Yeah, it's uh, very uh, sensitive. It did have uh, the python um, see the skin to roll up bigger. Oh, yeah. wow. So uh, during this time, is um don't like anyone. No. <laughs> <laughs> the boat we just came off of, and we had to climb a staircase. Yeah from the boat and it's the scariest thing because it's in the river it's because the tide is really low at the moment so the higher the tide the fewer steps you have to climb and that's our boat we're now walking the plank again um, to a coconut candy factory so the ingredient they have is necessary that is coconut and every morning the men work few hundred coconut a day few out the sale of coconut one clever, uh, clever man in men chair, they can make thousand, thousand coconut a day, like this. And I tell you a secret, every coconut have a monkey face. Huh. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, old time, young time is sweet, we can drink. Yeah. And they use another side of the knife for take the coconut into uh, will not meet out. Oh. Oh, very fresh. Uh, they need three things. Three things. One is coconut juice, like this. And uh, the second is malt. M-A-L-T. Malt. Malt. Yeah. Malt, coconut juice, and flavor. Thank you. It's coconut candy with peanuts. Oh, yeah. This is how they make it. That's how they make it. And then they cut it up for you to try. Oh. What's this? Popcorn? Pop rice. Pop rice. Oh, pop rice. Pop rice. Mm. Thank you. Pop rice and a rice coconut. Oh, that's quite nice. Mm. Popcorn. Mm. If you like, you can buy it here. Very fresh. Coconut candy with rice paper. Cobra. That's why this is London back to check out. Mm. Oh, these chickens are about to be someone's dinner. Are they roosters or chickens? How do you know? We're now being transported by Tuk Tuk um, to a restaurant for lunch. Just started chucking it down and that was such a big drop from that step onto the boat 
Oh my god, it's terrifying. We're going to go by Chipton because it's starting raining. We're going by boat instead. Um, and we'll go to Chipton because I don't care about getting wet. in the rain <laughs> I mean it's fine because we're obviously yeah. used to it <laughs> a bit hard to run in like sandals though look at the rain it's crazy <laughs> it's so funny because it's raining so much they're bringing all the food out on motorbikes and it's the funniest thing ever to see oh that's the fish <laughs> oh. Oh, got little spring rolls that's like tofu toast I'm not sure I don't really know what these things are. So when these are the boats. We don't step in the side because step in the side is make the boat will lift. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. What did you say? So oh, step so in the middle of the bed or middle of the bottom. Yep. Come guys. Yeah. This is really <laughs> scary. I can't even step on it. I don't think it's like that. Nanu. Nanu. This is actually a lot more peaceful I'm actually taking and my hat relaxing. Off. No, I'm going to take it off. Yeah. <laughs> He's all real. Yeah. Even those ones that are with their mouths open. Yeah. The skin can make back or ballot or belt. Yeah. Even those are real. The ones with their mouths open. Yeah, we real. Wow. Not real. Real, all real. Why do you think they're fake? Because their mouths are open and they're not moving. The catfish. Yeah, they uh, they bite. Oh, <laughs> I see. To feed the crocodiles. That's why their mouths are open. <laughs> Do they jump? <laughs> not jump, not jump out, don't worry. They are very small crocodile. Oh. The big one now is uh, three, two, three years old. Careful, your hand. Jazz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to kill me, yeah, he's going to snap on me, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, see? Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, Good boy. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Surely it can climb out of this. <laughs> Was it? Oh wow. Oh no, this really freaks me out. <laughs> like that, we got off one boat and we're about to board another. Which one is it? This one? I think it's that one we came on. quite a good day we do have a oh. two three hour journey back and now we're at a pagoda um, really stunning it's got Chinese architecture let me just show you it's really stunning you can't see because of the flags but that is the past Buddha did yeah. you say? The past Buddha. Past Buddha, the standing one and the lion present Buddha, present present Buddha, Buddha. Is the prank in India oh, okay. the Tango Tama. oh uh, okay tell about whatever the past Buddha said yeah, so that's the present Buddha, and this yeah, is the Buddha future, the future Buddha. Also described by um, the present Buddha, by um, uh, the life is going on until a day. Uh, the people will forget everything about Buddhism. That is the time evil win, and then um, future Buddha, uh, he born in that time, and then he will remind the people about Buddhism. Oh, it's interesting. Thank you. This pagoda is so stunning. I have serious vertigo, so I'm lying down. That was a really long journey back, but it was such a great day out. Um, a day trip to Mekong Delta is a little bit of a tourist trap because they take you to like loads of places you don't actually want to go to, like to see how they make coconut candy sweets or 
how they make chocolate which i'm sure i've seen in like loads of other places and just loads of other bits but they try and sell you stuff all along the way we visited like beekeepers who make honey and they try and sell you the honey and the bee pollen and all the rest of it right so these things always happen um and you just kind of have to go with the flow if you want to go to mekong delta and not make your own way there because it's really far then you just kind of have to do it they provided lunch which was actually pretty decent well mine was anyway there's a lot of food you have to pay for your own drinks one thing that they don't tell you though is that you have to tip everybody um because previous trips we've done um in vietnam they say that tips are not necessary but the um actual point of the mekong delta is to get in a rowing boat and a lady like rows you up and down it was only 15 minutes i don't even think it was 15 minutes to be fair it's probably about 10 that is it was literally the whole point of the day and it is now probably 6 p.m and we got picked up at 8 a.m from our hotel so it's been a very long day out <sighs> getting on and off boats is really scary especially when it rains um and it's really weird we keep bumping into the same people we got chatting to a couple from india um at the restaurant last night and we bumped into them at this pagoda that we went to the pagoda trip was optional and they asked if we wanted to go and we all said yes um, and it was really really nice um so that was something else that we did that was fun i would highly recommend the mekong De delta trip would you yeah i like it it was good. I mean, if you're in Ho Chi Minh, there's really nothing else to do here apart from that. People say Bentang Market, but I mean, it's just a market, you know, it's nothing special. Um, it's the same everywhere in Asia. Oh, I feel really sick. Um, I'm glad we didn't, didn't do the Coochie Tunnels because everyone says that they're really crap. Um, it's just not really worth it. And they remade the tunnels for tourists anyway. So it's not like it's the original thing that you're going to see because nobody would fit down it if it was the original thing. No, I'm just going to lie down, try and get rid of this vertigo, have loads of water, and then we're going to go out for dinner in a bit. This comes to a place called Filthy Vegan for um, dinner. Over is from Corley and it's hilarious. It's a really nice place. All vegan places are like hidden. No sign posts outside. No tiny sign saying upstairs, first floor, second floor, whatever. And there we go. They do like vegan fish and chips with baked beans, apparently. There's a big menu, I'll show you. Do you like hot dogs? Italian, British food. I'm interested in the vegan um, fish. They do pastries, they do dessert. They snack attack, oh they do toasty. They do Heinz beans the other way. Do they? Heinz beans, yeah. Shut up. Yeah. No. The filthy chicken. Oh my god, Heinz baked beans. Yes. Oh, the only baked beans that are worth having in life are Heinz. Jess is obsessed with the resident cat. I can't say this is not cute. Uh -huh. CC3 beer, is that any good? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> No, no disrespect to my dearest friend, but I, I should look like an intro from Schindler's List. <laughs> <laughs> but the beer gives me the Homer Simpson body. And <laughs> chocolate and peach um vegan ice cream just has got chocolate and vanilla mm -hmm. yes i took a bite out of mine just to see the color <laughs> it wasn't served to me like that i'm in a massive food coma emotions were huge good morning oh had a nice lie in this morning we're just on our way to breakfast the owner of the um restaurant we went to last night recommended a place called Che365 he said if you want like vegan food they do a really good breakfast I think he said but it's like a 52 minute walk and we're checking out today so we're gonna get a grab um yeah that's the one that's one ha hang che yeah yeah that's the one how much is it hold on uh the corner uh one pound one pound <laughs> Đi hướng Trần Não rồi, rồi ra Mai Chí Thọ dù nhất cũng được, qua cầu Thủ Thiên 2 cũng được, nó rất là nhanh. We have arrived at breakfast. It looks really nice in here. This is the menu. I want a banh mi, which I'm very excited about. This is the last of my weird coffees in Vietnam. I got a salted coffee with oat milk. You had this yesterday, didn't yeah. you? Oh, we liked it. Did you? Oh, it's a shame it said like a takeaway cup. 
so I got the spicy tofu bun me and I remembered to say no Thai basil because I can't stand it. Jas got the mixed one, so it's got like a vegan chicken and ham and he asked for it extra spicy. I don't think I like Vietnamese coriander either, you know. <laughs> oh, it's just the herbs that ruin things for me. This is how they get the deliveries, fresh every day. I don't know what dropping off now, but before, the guy just, uh, another guy. Oh, it's tofu. Oh, fresh tofu, this one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, literally five minutes ago, this other guy dropped off a load of fresh uh, coriander and vegetables. So, unlike in the UK, where you get deliveries overnight, you know, like in Subway, for example, it's a one-off delivery. But here, it's like fresh delivery throughout the day. So, everything tasted fresh in the barn meat. Obviously, Nish doesn't like this. <laughs> That food was good, but um, service was a bit strange in there. We're now just going to go back to the Bentan market because I remembered that I wanted to have a look for like a heated flask type bento box, and we're only about a 10 minute walk away. Well, double that actually in this heat and traffic. Anyway, but the um, owner of the restaurant we went to last night recommended this place, and the banh mi was good, I have to say. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We've been standing here for ages trying to figure out how to cross. <laughs> okay, they just want us to go. Do we just go? Okay, we <laughs> no, she was calling us over to yes. just come, just come. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've been following these ladies, but we need to cross again because that Cho Bentan means Bentan Market. Okay, right, we can cross here, great. Whew, that was hot, sweaty, and scary. Oh, this poor little owl is like tied to this. Why? Is it some sort of like touristy thing where they try and make you pay them so you pose with an owl. It's a lot calmer in here today than it was yesterday and I think it's because it's lunchtime almost so people aren't really hassling you as much they're just more interested in having their own lunch. <laughs> Picked myself up three packs of some chopsticks these will make some really good Christmas presents I think and I can post about it on this vlog because this vlog is not going to go up before Christmas. <laughs> Just checked out of our hotel. Um, I'll give you a quick look at the lobby. There we go. It's really beautiful inside. We've got about three hours before we need to leave the airport to fly to Cambodia. So I am sat in the lobby with Jas. I'm just doing a little bit of work um, and then I might go outside and go and get myself a drink possibly. But um, I'm glad to be leaving. I'm sad to be leaving Vietnam but I'm glad to be leaving this city. It hasn't been our favourite. It doesn't feel like authentic Vietnam at all. It's a bit like going to London. People are quite aloof. Um, they're not as friendly. There's no like real grit. It's all a little bit too polished. And I get that it's a really big city. It's very, very congested, but I don't know. We just haven't been that keen. And I would say that if you're gonna skip a city on a whole trip to Vietnam, it would definitely be a, it would definitely be Ho Chi Minh for me. But next we're flying to Cambodia, so I'm gonna end this video here and um, I'll start a new one when we land. So thank you for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.